back in the year 1902, there were two students at the University of Paris at the Sorbonne, Jacques Maritain and his girlfriend Raissa. They were agnostics, which meant they didn't know if whether God existed or not. In fact, the two of them could find no meaning and life. And they met one day in the Luxembourg Gardens, and they decided to make a pact. If at the end of one year we can't find any meaning in life, we'll commit suicide. Very extravagant French kind of pact for students to do. But then a few weeks later, they were exposed to the teaching of Leon Blois, who said, the only real sadness, the only real failure, the only great tragedy in life is not to become a saint. Why is that? Why did he say that? It's because if you don't become a saint, you don't realize your full potential as a human being. It's like buying a flower pot that has nice soil in it and a bulb, and yet you take it home and put it in a closet where there's no light and feed it only with Coca-Cola. What will happen? It will never bloom into the daffodil that that bulb was meant to be. To become a saint is to become the person Christ wants you to be. And when that is your goal, your whole life and attitude changes. Everything else becomes trivial by comparison. Even if you really want to become President of the United States and get it, compared to what Christ wants you to be, it's still trivial. To become a saint is to become a friend of Jesus Christ, or even more, to become a brother or sister of Jesus, to be a member of his immediate family. That is what you and I are called to be. St. John said in the reading today, See what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are.